and I would like to give an advice, ya ikhwa. Don't let the shaitan manipulate you in the salah or outside of the salah to make fun or laugh at a person who suffers from such a thing or even if someone breaks wind. Somebody broke wind during the salah. Don't laugh. Be serious. Be angry. Why do I say be angry? To show people that you're serious. Yani be so that people don't laugh. Because when people see someone who is serious in the salah, even if they start laughing, they will get serious as well. They say, look, the sheikh is, uh, is serious. If someone breaks wind uh, at school as a student or as a uh, or, or in the in the musalla or in the wudu or in the whatever situation he is, he is in a formal presentation, whatever it is, it is from our akhlaq, ya ikhwa, and it is the thing that should be done is to instantly help them out or in a let's say a spouse imagine your wife for example breaks wind pretend that this does, did not happen imagine your sister broke wind it did not happen your daughter you didn't hear it they start laughing they want you know ha huh? what as if you have seen nothing ha huh? what what is the matter no, nothing is the matter. And you go back to study. You go back into whatever you were doing. You didn't see anything. Don't embarrass them. You didn't hear anything. And if it is heard by everyone or so on, then reduce the situation instantly as the person is in what? Is in a very bad situation. Some of you might, the shaitan might tell you that I have been in, in such a situation. Maybe, no, I have been on the opposite side. When I see something like this, I diffuse the situation. It could happen to me. It could happen. It could very much happen to me. It never happened, alhamdulillah, but it could happen. So what? It, it could happen to any of us. And if it happened, barakallahu feekum, be the person who diffuses the situation and who is there for that person. Not, don't be the person who is laughing. This is the worst. Don't be the person who does nothing or doesn't know what to do. La. You are the person who diffuses the situation. And take this to other situations as well that are embarrassing. Take this to other humane situations. Ya ikhwa, contemplate. Someone, sometimes you see someone, not in an embarrassing situation, in a calamity or in a catastrophe. Say, what if I were that person? I'm going to need somebody. I should be that somebody. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, من فرج كربة عن, من, من فرج عن مؤمن, I forgot the beginning of the hadith. Is there a mu'min? من فرج عن مؤمن كربة من كرب الدنيا فرج الله عنه كربة من كرب يوم القيامة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة ومن يسر على معسر يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة I think I mixed up the, the, some of the, yani the order of the hadith. Yani meaning, if you, uh, uh, yani relieve a calamity that befalls a Muslim, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala relieves you from a calamity on the day of judgment. And when you is man nafasa man nafasa an mu'minin kurba min kurab al dunya nafas Allahu anhu kurba min kurab yom al qiyamah. ومن يسر على معسر يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة. ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة. Yani when you relieve a, a, cal a, a calamity upon a, a believer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieves a calamity from your calamities and the day of judgment. And when you ease, يسر على معسر, معسر doesn't have money, doesn't have, and you bring ease to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings ease to you on the day, uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, brings ease to you in, in this life and in the hereafter. And the one who satar a Muslim and the one who Shades, covers, curtains, huh? if that is a verb, does not expose is what is meant. A Muslim in the dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not expose him in this world and the hereafter. Know this, barakallahu feekum. Know this, barakallahu feekum.